subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today for a strength workout. So not a sweaty jumping around cardio workout. We're gonna slow it down a little bit and really try to work on the strength. We're gonna work through all the upper body muscles. So we're gonna hit the chest, the back, the shoulders, the triceps, and even a little bicep muscles. So if you're ready, um, I really suggest a five to 10 minute warm up before we go into the circuit, because I'm not really gonna warm us up. We're gonna kind of jump right into it. So five to 10 minute speedy walk, um, jumping jacks, body weight squats, high knees, anything that's gonna get your core temperature up. You don't wanna start cold, we don't wanna injure anything or strain anything. So get your warm up, get some movement going, and then come back to this video with your dumbbells. Let's go. The way these rounds are gonna go, we're gonna do four different moves three times through, but our first round is gonna be 60 seconds, our second round is gonna be 45 seconds, and our last round will only be 30 seconds. So it's just gonna get easier as we go. I love workouts like this. It's kind of a reverse pyramid or a sliding scale, if you will, and it just makes it go by a lot faster. So you're getting a ton of work, a ton of volume, in a pretty short amount of time. So four exercises, First round is going to be one minute. Ready? We've got a 10 second countdown. First move is gonna be on your mat, no equipment. We're gonna start in like a down dog position. So really reaching the hips back towards the back wall. And then you're going to reach through with your chest into an up dog position. So hinging the hips back, getting that nice stretch through the upper body, dive bum, nice and low into that up dog. Really working the shoulders and the triceps. Yes, warming up that upper body, building some heat. All the way up, hinge it back. Push it through, so bending the elbows, the elbows should track right by your sides. Hinge it back, chin, chest, your hips kind of stay up in the air there. Hinge it back, nice deep stretch. Up, and back, Woo. rest. Okay, for our next move, we're gonna need a lighter set of dumbbells. I'm gonna grab my eight pound dumbbells. But if you're a beginner, start a little bit lighter. So we're gonna do dead bug, pressing the lower back into the ground, knees bent at 90 degrees, feet flexed, arms straight out from your chest. Then we're gonna reach, opposite arm, opposite leg. Exhale as you bring it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bring it in. Deep inhale, really being intentional with pulling the belly button towards the spine. You'll feel that core firing up, creating some heat in the belly if you're really pressing through the lower back. If this is hurting your lower back, you need to focus on pressing, pressing, pressing that lower back into the mat. Maybe don't lift your legs as low, keep them a little bit higher. That's a modification. You can also do this without the weight. So don't feel like you need to add the weight. No weight is completely effective. And there's my baby. Okay, moving on. You're gonna need a medium to heavy set dumbbells. I've got 15s here for our next move. We're gonna start in a plank position. Then you're gonna step in, drop the hips, press the elbows towards the inner thighs, curl, step back. Step in, <sighs> exhaling as you curl. Step back, step in, drop the hips. Try to keep the chest nice and open. Nice wide squat, really, hips are really, really open. Nice and tall, nice and strong. Getting the whole body involved in these dumbbell bicep curls. 
not just isolating. Good work and rest, okay? Last move, we're gonna get another heavy dumbbell. So I'm gonna start with 20, let's see how this goes. Half kneeling position. You're gonna take the knee that's on the ground, that hand, we're gonna bring it up to our shoulder, and we're gonna overhead press. So by offsetting the stance like this, in this half kneeling position, we're using the core more. And taking out the legs, actually. So if you're standing and you're pressing heavy dumbbells overhead, you do use your legs a little bit. And you should, your legs are your foundation, you're using your core. Big deep exhale to fire up that core to help you press. I might have to drop this weight for the next round. This is good. Push it to your limit. You almost want to go till failure, especially when you're doing strength moves. Doing high reps with light weight doesn't really build muscle, doesn't create a lot of change. So now we're just going to switch sides, switch knees. So the arm that's up, that knee's down. Pull the belly button into the core. Exhale, press. Belly button into the spine, rather. Whew. Nice wide military press here. So we're not turning the hand. The hand is facing away from you. Whew. Facing the TV or the computer or however you're joining me with this strength workout. Exhale, press. Whew. Nice. Whew. My strong arm's getting tired. That's good. I chose a good weight. You don't want to be flying through this. This shouldn't be super easy. To create the stimulus for the muscle to break down and change, you need to go heavy, ladies. <sighs> Guys already know that. They usually pick a pretty heavy weight. <sighs> All right, back to the top. So we're going back to the downward dog. Dive bomb. Oh, but I have to change. Back to that downward dog dive bomb, but this time our rounds are only 45 seconds. Three, two, and up. Press it back. Chin, chest, snake it out to an upward dog. Hinge back, chin, chest, upward dog. Sneak it back. If you have to, drop the knees. Chin, chest, pushing up. Okay, so if you're modifying, you're dropping the knees. Hinge back, beautiful. Nice and strong, trying to be as controlled as possible. <laughs> One more. <sighs> Beautiful. Dead bug. Grab your weights. All right. Bring it in. Pulling the belly button towards the spine. Very intentional, very controlled. This is not a speedy workout. This is not a speed through it, get it done, check, the, check it off the list. This is mind-muscle connection. We're working the shoulders and the core. Woo, you might even feel some shaking. That's good, okay. Grabbing those heavier dumbbells, I'm gonna grab my 15s. We're gonna go plank, step in, curl, step it back. Trying to get the hips low. If you're up here, 
it's okay, but really work on sinking the hips down. So we're working through that hip mobility, trying to create the space in the hips. Everything's connected, so if you're tight somewhere, it's good to know and work on opening up that space because where you're tight often causes pain in another location. So where you're feeling the symptom of pain doesn't always mean that's where the problem is stemming from. So really notice the tight areas of your body. I'm gonna do my weaker side again first, which I highly recommend. Starting with your weaker side, using all your energy <laughs> for the side that maybe is not so natural or doesn't come as easy to you, your less dominant side. <sighs> Exhale, power up. Whew. I like to place my belly here to remind me, whew, pull the belly button whew, to the spine to engage the core. Whew, where your stability should be coming from. We're in this offset, whew, half kneeling position. It's not easy, guys. Woo! Switch sides, switch knees, bringing the dumbbell up to the shoulder, turn the hand to face forward. Exhale, press it up. Nice. Go to work. Oh, I forgot to start my watch. It still counts, right? <laughs> All this benefit we're doing to our body right now still counts even if you're not tracking it. Less than 10. Woo! Set the timer. Last round is 30 seconds. Grab water if you need it. Going back to the top, downward dog. 10 seconds, last time through, and then we change up the whole circuit. All right, four, three, two, and downward dog. Press it back, really push through those shoulders, open up the shoulders, chin, chest, triceps track back by your sides, so you're squeezing those tricep muscles in by your sides, squeezing those elbows into your sides. Lots of work for those little baby tricep muscles. The triceps are a small set of muscles and they tend to tire. <laughs> Pretty easily, whoa, just in the nick of time. Dead bug, here we go. Pull the belly button into the spine. Exhale, as you bring it all in. Inhale. Exhale, is your lower back pressing into the mat? That's the most important part here. You wanna turn on that front body the front abdominal muscles, the front of the core rather. <laughs> back is pressing into the mat, lower back, protecting the spine. Especially if you have weight in your hands. All right, grab the heavier set of dumbbells. We're gonna do our plank. Step it in, get low, curl. If you're not able to get this low, I still challenge you to do the squat and curl. This is almost like a preacher curl, curl style. So you're able to go a little bit heavier because you have the support of your legs pressing back against the elbows, creating a little bit more stability and isolating the biceps that much more. Ooh, one more. All right, going back to our awesome heavy Shoulder press, and you'll face the side this time. And go, exhale. It's only 30 seconds, we got this. Exhale, press. Nice job. Nice and 
and strong. <sighs> Should be challenging. Don't give up. <sighs> Power through. You're stronger than you think you are. be going as heavy as possible on this. If you only have a lighter set of dumbbells, you're going to use both the dumbbells in one hand to make it heavier on that shoulder press. Good. Actively engaging the core as you press. Right side feels so much stronger on my left. But that's why we do unilateral exercises <sighs> to strengthen each individually because if we're doing them together, naturally one side's always going to compensate. The stronger side will always take a little bit more of the load. Okay, grab water, rest for a sec, and then we're going to go to our second part of the circuit. All right, who's ready for circuit two? So I'm going to slide these dumbbells out of the way. We've got tricep push-ups to Start. So we've got a 10 second rest, no equipment, tricep push-ups on your mat, hands right by your armpits, up to your toes if you can, elbows are tracking right by your sides, exhale as you press away. <sighs> nice and strong, slow and controlled. Medium weights. We're gonna do 
dumbbell Arnold press. So hands start facing your face, elbows lifted, open, press. Back to 90 degrees, rotate in, open. Let me catch my breath, exhale, press. Open, core tight. So I'm doing this seated. You can also do the standing. You can do the seated with your feet flat on the ground if you're in a chair or a seat. Just remember to keep that integrity of the core. That's gonna make all the difference in helping with the ease of this shoulder press. Woo! We're getting a lot of those rotator muscles involved deep in the shoulders. Really good for shoulder health. Super easy to injure those shoulders if you're not properly warmed up or if you're not strengthening them in that way. Back to the top. Let me reset our timer. Back to the top. 10 seconds, tricep push-ups. And here we go, my triceps are getting shaky. Nice and wobbly. We're burning them out. If you can't do any more, even from this modified kneeling position, you can elevate them. So if you've got a couch or a bench or a chair, bringing them up to chest height, still keeping those elbows in line by your sides. You'll still be working those triceps. You're just taking a little bit of the resistance off. No shame, work with your body, meet it where it's at. Because if they're on the way to failure, then that's good. We're increasing strength. We need to keep pushing through it. Okay, bend over row. Hinge, row. Again, there's a theme with this circuit. <laughs> the elbows are driving straight back by your waist, so we're not way out here. Keep your elbows tight. If you're modifying, you're doing one at a time. Nice and slow and controlled, nice and intentional. Trying not to jerk the whole body. Really protecting that lower back by keeping the back super flat. Abs engaged, pulling the belly button up towards the spine. I see so many people doing this wrong. From this position, ah, danger zone. <laughs> so heed my warnings. All right, plank, dumbbell, row. Here we go. You can do this with two dumbbells, keeping your hands on the dumbbells, or one. My wrists are pretty tired from my workout yesterday and doing some yoga this morning, so it feels better to be flat on my palms and fingertips than having to hold the dumbbell in this position the whole time. So, listen to your body. Always. Good work. A few more. Woo. Five, three, two, and rest. Good work. Okay. Arnold press. Last move of the 45 second rounds. Let me rest the shoulders before I put them up there. Woo. And up. Elbows at shoulder height. Exhale, press. Belly button pulling towards the spine. Active core. Protecting the lower back always. Trying not to lean back. A lot of times when we do overhead movements, we tend to compensate by leaning back. But you almost want to slightly lean forward to activate the front body, the abdominal muscles. 10 seconds. Whose shoulders are on fire? Oh, and rest. Okay, round.
round three is our 30 second round. Let's get to it. Tricep push-ups. Last time in a row. Let's go. Hips forward if you're modifying like me. Elbows grazing by your sides. Especially as we get tired, you want to focus on form because that's when injuries occur. When we're going too fast, when we're not moving mindfully, and when our muscles are just about to give up, it's so easy to tweak something. <sighs> Last one. Good work. Men over row. Ooh, my arms are jelly already. Feeling it. I love that feeling. Woo. Dumbbell row. No rounding, super, super straight back. Exhaling as you pull. Sink the breathing with the movement. Abs are engaged, back muscles are packed, locked and loaded. Five. And rest. Beautiful, plank dumbbell row, 30 seconds, three, two, and go, pull, pull, trying to keep the hips and the shoulders as square to the ground as you can, so you're going to open up a little bit because we're shifting that weight from one hand to the other, but trying to avoid this. It's not a side plank. Keep the hips square. Woo, shoulders. Feeling it. Last move. Arnold press. Breathe. Open. Exhale, press. Last move in this round. We've got one more circuit to go. Open. Exhale. Body check yourself. Are you leaning back? Is your core engaged? Are you sinking the breathing with the movement? So exhaling as you press. Last one. And rest. Good job, guys. Get water. And we've got one more circuit to go. You're killing it. Okay. Last circuit. You guys are killing it right now. Again, trying not to lean back, 
Don't compensate through the lower back. Keep pulling that belly button to the spine. Exhaling as you curl. We've only got one. This is our last round of 60 seconds. Seems brutal now <laughs> because my arms are feeling it. Woo! Love this feeling. Curl. Maybe one more set in. Hammer. Woo! And wide. Ugh. Okay. Forward, backward, bear crawl. So I'm gonna use my mat sideways. Tuck the toes, lift the knees so you're in this tabletop position. Knees are hovering an inch or two above the ground. We're gonna walk forward on our mat and then backward on our mat, trying to keep that nice flat back tabletop position. This is a total body move right here. Core, shoulders, triceps, quads. If you need to rest, just come on out, take a breather, and jump back in. I'm gonna go this way. Woo! Who's shaking? I am. My triceps are screaming. Three, two, and ooh, holy moly. Shake those out. Grab a little bit lighter weights than you did with the bicep curls. We're gonna do tricep kickbacks. So just holding them up by your chest, keeping the elbows tucked in. Squeeze, bring it in. Squeeze. Bring it in. You can also alternate if your arms need a little rest in between. One arm at a time. Squeeze. So you're really trying to feel the backs of the arms, the tricep muscles, which we've pretty thoroughly worked already, <laughs> so you should be feeling them. Squeeze. Oh. Nice work. Alternating arm to arm to modify. 10 seconds and then we go to our 45 second round. Our first move was this brutal plank up downs. Yes, coming at you. All right. Changing our timer. 45. No rest for the wicked. Trying to rest as little as possible in between. We've got 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two. Here we go, 30 seconds. I'm sorry, 45 seconds. Up, up, wishful thinking. Down, down. How is this for a strength workout? Yes. Steady as possible through the hips. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. Give those shoulders and wrists some love. Grab your heavier dumbbells. Hammer curl. Flip the hands. Exhale, wide curl. Almost there, guys. Killer. If you stuck with me this far, I fully expect your arms to be jello after this workout. Comment below if you're having trouble doing anything that requires your arms later today. <laughs> Woo. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, set those down. We've got our forward, backward, Woo. bear crawl. Trying to keep that nice 
flat back, tabletop position. This is a total body move right here. Core, shoulders, triceps, quads. If you need to rest, just come on out, take a breather, and jump back in. I'm gonna go this way. Woo! Who's shaking? I am. My triceps are screaming. Three, two, and Ooh, holy moly. Shake those out. Okay, last move of our 45 second round. Here we go, grab your dumbbells. Three, two, tricep kickback, squeeze. So this is not a passive, fast, movement. This is nice and slow and controlled. So we're bringing it up, extending back and squeeze, pausing at the top of the movement and bring it back in. So you want to feel those little baby tricep muscles. Woo! Turn on. Burn. Squeeze. So if you can't feel it on yourself, squeeze and then touch the back of that arm. That should be nice and firm. Squeeze. You got muscles under there. through the hips. Your body knows what to do. This is our third time through. You're absolutely crushing it if you're still hanging in there with me. Up, up, down, down. Core, tight. Belly button to spine. All right, done with those. Thankfully. Okay, grab your heavier dumbbells. Oh. 
Wonderful job. That is the best feeling to have an awesome, thorough workout such as that, crushing those upper body muscles. And now we're done. So hopefully you 